hey guys so welcome back to my another video in this video is also going to be a rx uh, js series and today i'm going to talk about the uh, fork a uh, join and zip okay so let's begin so basically i do have a project which is running on localhost 4200 and this project is angular project as you guys know here it's running here so what i'm gonna do on this one i have the app that html component which is comes with the angular uh, so i'm gonna uh, delete that and just write it down to test and i'm gonna save this okay save this and let's see that i can see the changes here something happened to my auto reload looks like my server is not running so i'm gonna do ng serve to run a server and this is my whole project right uh, it comes with the boilerplate so now while it's running this my project here let me go to the app the component here and i'm gonna i'm gonna write the the uh, life cycle function here which is i'm going to implement the uh, interface which is on init interface and i could able to use the uh, life cycle here ng on init uh, whenever this component will load then this function will trigger and in this function what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a uh, new observables here called something called call apis so first thing i'm going to show you how the uh, fork join work so in a call apis right so i'm gonna use the api called the bacon ipson basically it's just give you the uh the api for testing purpose and i'm gonna use this api here in json api here is a bunch of api uh, you can use any of it i mean different does different different purpose work but i'm gonna use this guy here and this will give me the uh, every time when i reload it it's gonna give me a different data uh, yeah so, yeah it does give me a different data and it's called this api so i'm gonna use this one just to uh, testing purpose here and to call this api uh, to call this api i need to also uh, put the http client modules uh, because i need to use a http client and i need to put a http client client modules here okay modules and i need to import this from the uh, I need to import from angular common and uh, common http okay so once i have this http client modules now i could able to use the http client here i mean i could create a service but this is a i just want you to get a focus on the uh the fork join and the jip so i'm just gonna put it directly here so this is going to be http client and i will use the http client from the angular uh, common http so whenever uh, the the function this class uh, this component will load then it's going to call the uh, apis functions and it's going to call the uh, call apis where i'm gonna trigger this http client and i'm gonna use the uh, get method here so it's gonna get the uh call the api okay so basically whenever you, uh, you we use this get then it will return the observables right whenever it's gonna return the observables so this is going to be uh, observables data okay so i'm gonna use the observable something called data here so it's called ops data okay so this is the first data and let's assume we have another api right and we have another api ops data 2 and now we have a two api and let's assume you want to call you need this both api's data and you want this both to be completed then you could use a fork join right you could use a fork join in a fork join uh, you could add the observables here first observables and you could add a second observables here yeah you might see that this fork zone is depreciated uh, yes this is depreciated so the way how we can use is put inside the array so this is not depreciated one the the old version was the without using an array was depreciated and we could what we could do we could do a subscribe of course we could do chain a lot of pipe right getting a data stuff then we could do a post it here in a d so basically now I'm going to show you what it really does. So whenever, oh, it's my project is running now. Yep, it, it's running. So I'll just save it here. 
so here as you guys can see i get the two data in array right in every array array we i got the two data and this two data is coming from the api so whenever i get all the data is been uh, completed such as uh, this will give me the uh, observables and this will also give me the observables and when the observable is complete if observable is complete then the fork join will trigger let's assume i will add some some here the pipe and i will make this call a little bit delay right a little bit delay let let me do a delay here uh, which is one of the operator which we can make the delay so let let me do a delay for five seconds of course i need to import this delay from rxjs so i will use the import delay from rxjs slash operator okay operators so now after five seconds this will call so it will wait so now as you guys can see here in the console it doesn't print here so after five seconds it's going to print so whenever the subscription whenever sorry the observable is complete then the frog will trigger so if you want to call a multiple data and you want all them to complete it you get the data then the frog then you can use a frog and you can get a data of course you can get a data here like data you can also use this as a two parameter if you are using uh yep two parameter here in the array i believe yep you could use an array here then you could get this in array for this two of the data separately as well so now if i do print here after five seconds i put the delay here so the yep it's going to print here the first one data and this is the second data as you guys can see this is my first data and this is my second data okay that's how it's going to work you can use a two parameters here or one it's up to you but that's how you can use a fork join guys so now let me uh, go for a jip uh, how we can use a jip jip is little different so to prove how we can use a jip is i'm going to create a little bit of the component here not component sorry the button here and we're going to call something called uh something called i don't know sandwich i don't know what to, what button i should create give me a sandwich right and the second one is uh, let me put a burger right i don't know what to put but anyway i have a two button here sandwich and burger so now let me put a click event uh, here you know what yeah i will use uh, the template reference variable for now this is called sandwich button right button okay so now here this is called uh, the the burger button so uh, he, burger button i mean you could use a click functions and you could put that in subject to get to make that observables as well or you could also use a template reference variable like this so the basically the main thing what i'm trying to do the first thing is i'm going to make this button as observables okay so how we can make the observables is uh, there are multiple ways uh, this is the one of the way and here i've created a template variable switch button as uh, not switch sorry sandwich button and i could use the sandwich button here so how i could use it is using a view view child right in a view child i just need to tell what is my button name and what's the button of course that reference is going to be and this is going to be element element reference element ref okay so this is my the first button view child one and if i go to the another one the next one is a burger button right i'm going to create a burger button here and this is also going to be same so if i print it here in on init uh, the sandwich button see what we can get right let's see okay we get on define here the reason behind is uh, ng on in it will trigger uh, before the 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 html here the view is load so when the view is loaded before it it doesn't have anything so that's why it give me all undefined so on view child if we use a view child when you use something called after view in it right whenever the view is initializing is done when the html is rendering is done then we want to call this functions here 
okay so on after init now we could be able to get the element ref here and native element is basically nothing it's just a button of this uh, the object of the button so on here what we can do is we can use the because the, the main concept the first thing I'm trying to do create an observable for this button whenever I click it button then it's gonna go to the observable stream and each of the observable stream we're gonna, we're gonna pass some data there that's what I'm trying to do okay so there is a something called from event and from event will uh, allow us to create the observables and this is also coming from rxjs and the from event uh, is as a function so the first thing it will check the uh, native element uh, the element ref and second one is the, the action so basically it's going to be uh, the click event sorry not action sorry event and it's going to give me the uh, the observables of the button okay so observable of the button so this is the first button and this is a second button button two and second button is going to be a burger button that's all okay okay so now this is a two button here so whenever i click the button then i will i will get the data here and button one dot uh, it's observable so we can able to do a subscribe here so we will get a data here so what data we get uh, actually we will get the the button uh, object basically the button event okay so whenever i click it now i'll get the mouse event here button event wherever i click it here then i get the mouse event functions okay but we don't want a mouse event we want to get this sandwich and burger value if we want to get this sandwich and burger value then we could use a pipe here uh yep pipe and inside the pipe we could use a map operator where we can manipulate the data and here what we get is uh, this mouse click event and from mouse click event what we can do is uh, in a map here inside map uh, okay in a mouse click event i could get uh, d dot target which will give me the, uh, the html target here so uh, instead of the target now we can do an inner html to get the data uh, html okay and yeah d is complaining so i'll just do as any for now so now let's see what happened if i click the button here so if i click the button i'll get a sandwich right it's printing as a sandwich okay perfect so this is what we need uh just to show our data so i'm going to use for button two as well so whenever i click the button two now it's giving me a burger okay so which is good so far everything is good so far so now let's use the of uh, jib so how the jib work i'm going to show you now so if i use a jib jib is also coming from the rxjs and in jib also we can put chain we're going to put a lot we're going to chain not chain kind of like we can put a lot of observables here so the first observable i'm going to put as a button so if i do subscribe here and instead of the button doing a subscribe let's do a subscribe using a jib what happened okay so if I, okay something is printing here the console log yep i don't want to print this let me let me clear this up so whenever i click the sandwich button sandwich is printing which is good which is perfectly fine so now let me change this to a fork join of course the fork join is going to complain i need to put inside the array here so whenever i click the sandwich the only one is printing from line number 32 line number 32 this one the fork join is not even printed if i click it again it's printing 52 the reason behind is if anything has been changed on data on the stream of the line anything that is changing on the stream then the jib is going to trigger but the fork join only gonna be triggered if the stream of the line is complete if it's not complete then this not even going to trigger at all that's how it is work so now if i put the uh the, the something called the pipe here right the tech maybe tech only two okay tech is basically it will only allow us to take a two of the stream then after completed so what happened now so if i click a button of course it's going to print on line number let me check 33 which is going to be zip if i click it again now it's going to print it on both because i just say that take two and after it's complete so that when the stream of the lines the line of the stream like this 
let's assume this is a line of the stream here right line of the stream and if you are in the middle something change the data then the fork join doesn't even uh, print it out because this will only print it out when it's complete let's assume we have complete here and if it's not even complete the jeep is going to print and of course jeep is also going to print on complete so now here the three data is printed but if i click it now the button doesn't even trigger because the event is already done already complete because we just tell them take two this is a one way okay this is a one way and now let me assume if we have a multiple observables let's assume we have multiple observable then what happened right what happened on jib so if i click it if i click it sandwich sandwich nothing happened but if i click in burger then happen so why is like that so how the jib work and the two of them more than two observables is if anything any data it changes here it doesn't need a trigger it will put in somewhere in a cache i don't know how how the jib work but anyway it will put somewhere and if the data is changing here as well if both data is changed then it's going to print okay even it's not even complete even it's not even complete so now if i click a burger doesn't gonna work burger nope doesn't gonna work but if i click a sandwich then it's gonna work of course the sandwich doesn't even work after that now it, it will not work because uh, it's already complete. I just say that tech 2 is complete. So that's how the jib work. If any data of this two is changed, then it's going to print the it's going to uh, print the data. That's how the jib to work. But the fork join is, of course, uh, it need to complete. It need to complete to to get the data. If I use the two observables here. Of course, the fork is new complete as you can see in the APIs. Mostly we use in APIs, but if you're going to use in any other events in the observables, then here is an example for it. So if I click it here, doesn't gonna work. If I click it here, nope. Uh doesn't gonna work, nothing. The reason why is I disabled the tech. Did I? Nope, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't disable the tech. The reason is this is complete, but this is not even complete yet. So that's why it doesn't even print. Because whenever I print, click this, this guy doesn't even complete the button two. The both observables need to be complete. So if I put a take two on this two, both. So whenever we click a twice button, then it's going to complete the observable. So if I click one, it doesn't gonna work. One, nope. Now again, nope. Now again, it should. Yep. Because both of this is finished the line of stream of the line is finished that's why it's going to work so the the difference between these two is uh, this need to be complete to print it out and this doesn't need to be complete it's just check the changes of for this two okay and if two is been changed then it's going to print a jib so that's how the difference between the fork join and jib work guys and i hope you guys understood uh well and please let me know if you guys have any questions and please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe my channel i'm gonna put a more programming videos tricks tips on this channel as you guys can know and which will be very helpful for the uh, programming career for everyone and uh, that's it guys thank you very much bye for now